people do need help. Everyone isn't able to pull themselves up by the bootstraps without help. And that's what Abbott House does. And that's why we're here to help them, because we see the work. In dealing with the older children, particularly males, there's a tremendous need for educational support services. And that's the key. When you get a child that's 15, 16 years old reading on a second grade level, the schools can do but so much, but we need a lot more educational support for these boys and girls. And that's where sometimes, you know, you feel frustrated because you need these programs in place. At that age, when they're 15 and 16, a lot of it's embarrassment and they put their heads down, and they don't want to admit that they're not at the same level as their peers. My focus has always been education, and that's the equalizer, and our kids are lacking. As Joyce said, the education piece is, is key, but also exposure, because a lot of our kids have not really traveled far, because a lot of them are fearful of their own shadow. Oh, I'm not leaving here. I'm not getting on a plane. I'm not taking the cruise. They need to be like intermingled into more private camps where they can possibly see how other people are living or what they have available to them. It's exposure to things that they may not necessarily do in their environment or foster parents may not necessarily have it available to them. They need these experiences before they go out there. No, it's possible. It can happen to you. You can have that with hard work. Another thing our children have are weight issues. They used to provide uh, scholarships to Camp Shane upstate. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I had the opportunity to send one of my kids there for two weeks. Some of our kids need this. And Health is going to be a factor. This is what's coming up. The whole family goes for a week or weekend to kind of reboot everything as to how their health is going because they're not taking it serious. Yes, they have medication, but sometimes it's changing your food, it's running around. A lot of the activities are expensive in the communities that we live in. So having that available, to them to go to these specialty camps. I think that'll make a difference in the foster parents having this available to them that they can send the kids to. And they feel it feels normal, feels right. It, it, it just feels good that they have that opportunity. The support Abbott House, they're doing it. You have an agency that are doing something to make a difference for society because this is the generation that's coming out to the world. Either you take care of it now or it will be taken care of later. Either we pay attention to the kids today or you're gonna meet a kid in the alley when you're 85 and you're gonna hope that he met someone like me to show him empathy, show him love because they're on the same planet that we're on. And Abbott House allows us to do that. The kids didn't ask to be in this situation. We try as hard as we can to make sure that we can give them enough tools so that it can be okay, that they can be in control of their destiny. If they make it back home, it's wonderful but you have a safe and secure place here with us at Abbott House. To whom much is given, much is required. I'm not saying everybody can have a foster home, but everybody can do something. You can do something.